Hi, it's Karen here from The Learning Cauldron. I'm always on the lookout for anything that makes learning fun. And one of the things that a lot of pupils find hard for their Nat 5, and even for higher, is actually writing a creative story, a short story where they've got to make up the characters and make up a plot. I think that it really helps if you start doing this young. And a game that you can play to encourage creativity in storytelling is Story Cubes, or specifically Rory Story Cubes which I was given as a gift once. It comes with this little card bit on the outside and then inside there's a lovely little robust box with the instructions, but luckily I know what to do. And there are images. As you can see, there are images on each of the nine dice. So you tip them out and it's really down to luck here what happens. I'll pull them back together again. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a pair of glasses, we've got something that could be a star or a sun, we've got some musical notes, we've got something that could be a cave or an igloo, depending, some hills and a road leading up to them. I'm not quite sure what that is. Ooh, it looks like an octopus. And a goblet, a bowl of hot food of some sort, and, ah, we're in Scotland, a cloud with some rain. And the idea is that whoever's turn it is will make up a story, any old story. It doesn't need to be particularly exciting, but to use your imagination to link these objects together, which is not always as easy as it sounds. So you would, first of all, go for the object or the, the picture that grabbed your attention. And so I might go for the rain cloud and say, once upon a time in a land far away, it was a very wet and rainy day. And this was great if you were an octopus and you liked the water, but it wasn't so good if you preferred a dry day. So what happened next was that the sun came out and it was shining brightly, so brightly that the hero of our story, whose name we do not yet know, put on her sunglasses. And she started listening to her favourite music as she sat in her cave because she was feeling pretty depressed and she wanted to hide herself away in the cave. And she dreamt that one day she would be able to travel far across the world and see everything that was out there and climb hills in the bright sunshine. But meanwhile, she sat and had a cup of hot chocolate and a big bowl of spaghetti bolognese. And so even though it had been a rainy day when it started, things had got a lot better. The end. Now, obviously, that was just a really bad attempt at trying to link the objects together. But you can see that it could be really good fun to play with young kids on a rainy day. So just to remind you, these were called story cubes. I don't know Rory or his, how he discovered these story, uh, story cubes. So I'm not selling these at all. I just thought they were a really good idea and a good fun way of teaching kids how to start doing creative writing or at least making up stories that they can then later write. If you get a pack, I hope you have fun with them.